Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video I'm going to talk about making terracotta clay jewelry the simple way. Several years ago I actually put together a video which I will leave a link down at the bottom. Don't be too judgmental because that's one of my first videos and I really didn't know what I was doing. I still don't really know what I'm doing but I have come a long way since then. But anyway, um, in that video, I'm actually making diffuser necklaces and I talk about the um, proper clay to use. So that video will show you actually how to make a terracotta pendant. This one, believe it or not, is terracotta clay. I just painted it. And today I'm going to show you about putting this into a piece of jewelry. So after I formed my pendant, put it in the oven, I don't have a kiln, it's, I just used my regular oven I have at home. Then I used acrylic paint to paint it and I just, I basically mixed the colors I wanted. I just to use a blue and a dark blue and a white to come up with this. Isn't it pretty? And then I just put Mod Podge to seal it. And then I used some hemp and tied it to make a bale. I used this bead right here, which is a sesame seed jasper. It's a blue mat. And I made sure I had a little bit of a hole right here so I could put my beading wire in there. So let me show you what I've got that I'm going to put together. And then I'll finish it up and show you the finished product. So I just placed this in the center because that's where I'm going to want it. I, it will hang down more like this, but we'll just put it here so I can see it. And I'm going to use some more of these matted sesame seed jasper beads that I got in a bargain bead box uh, December of 2020. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, so let's just lay these out here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there we have six on each side. And uh, I think I'm going to have these crystals in different sizes. They're kind of a milky crystal. And I'm going to use these. The bigger ones I will put on each side of the pendant. I want to make sure that they're big enough where they won't go through the bale. Because then what happens when you're wearing it, your necklace may wind up over here and you don't want that to happen. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put these in between here. This is just very simple. And it's going to wind up looking boho, like screaming boho. So if you're like me and you like the boho look, oh, I'm missing a bead. Hmm. I've had enough. Fortunately, I've got an extra one right there. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. And I could put chain here, but I actually want to continue with the boho look. So I'm going to use some of these big, thick jump rings. And I crocheted some hemp. I just did measured how much I'm going to need and then I doubled it because what I want to do is I want it to be like that and then I will tie a clasp on the, the top here. So let me go ahead and finish this out and I'll show you what it looks like all done. So I've got everything strung up and I just need to connect these to the ends here, but I wanted to show you what I did. I just uh, took these crocheted, it's just a chain stitch, pieces of hemp. And after I actually soaked them for a little while, because hemp, raw hemp does tend to be a little itchy and I've kind of um, broke down the fibers a little bit by putting them in hot water for about, I don't know, about an hour or so. And it broke it down a little bit. But as you wear this, 
uh, the oils of your skin will break it down even more and it'll be very comfortable to wear. But I just um, put the ends through there like that and tighten them up. And now I'm going to hook them to these little hoops here on each end. Make sure they're turned the right way. See, they're not turned the right way, so I want to switch it over. Nope, they are turned the right way, so they're okay. I swear, I have got to go get my eyes checked. <laughs> they're getting worse and worse, but I couldn't get into the doctor for several months, so I have to learn to live with it. But I definitely need new glasses. All right, so we've got this all put together. Now for this. Now, since this is very boho, um, I'm just going to tie these together on here and just let the ends hang. First thing I actually want to do is tie a knot here because I don't want them being separated. So I'm just going to do an overhand knot on the tops here. Now, when you're designing some of this stuff, you may do something and then change your mind many, many times. Because sometimes you think, oh, this will work, and it doesn't. But anyway, so that's what that's going to look like. And then I'm just going to tie this. And again, I'll just use an overhand knot. And I'm probably going to, let's see, do I need to do another one? No, nope, I think it's going to be cut. No, nope, no. Nope. Let's see, let me look. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. But you know what? Just in case, I'm going to do another one. I always like to make sure my creations are going to stay together. So you just have to slip that knot down at the very bottom. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here, and I'll be back to show you what I'm going to do next. So everything is secure there, and I'm going to cut them down and leave a little bit. Make sure they're the right size. They don't have to be exactly, but I like them to look pretty uniform. And you could leave them like that, which kind of looks like the middle here. But I think I'm going to fray them a little bit. So basically what you do is just kind of twist them or untwist them. You find out which way they're going and I take a little sharp object. I usually like to use my bead reamer here and just get in between the fibers and just kind of comb them out. And I will do that on all the little strands poking out here. And then I'll trim them up. So let me get these done and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So I've got the clasp all done. I've got the whole entire project done, but I may need a little trim it a little bit. If you get all these little fuzzies, I just kind of trim them off. But I love this look. I know some of you probably don't, but I think with the boho, you either love it or you hate it. <laughs> and I love it. I think it's fun. Tell me what you think. Do you like the boho look? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out how to make these guys. I'll probably be doing an updated video of that pretty soon here. But in the meantime, I hope you all give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Mostly though, y'all have a wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.